Search and destroy. It's time to get better at it. So today I'm bringing you a simple tip to help you win more games and you can do it in under 8 seconds. Let's get right into the video. Today we are talking about bomb placement. This is a very simple, very easy way to win more search and destroy games and I do not see enough people doing this. Most of the time people will run straight up to the bomb and plant right against it in the middle or on the side usually. Now that is an example of how not to plant bomb. You can't really see it from anywhere else unless you're right next to it. You can see it from a sniper right here, which I was not intending to be able to see it from this area. That is not a shot you want to take in most situations. I just wouldn't risk it. Do not plant the bomb like this. I will show you in a few seconds how to really plant the bomb in a much more beneficial way for you and your teammates. Obviously, you can't see the bomb from this side. So you just have very limited options of where to watch the bomb from, which would be from this left or right head glitch. And then you would just have to hope that they don't come behind you and shoot you in the back. Now the goal of this is to get the bomb down and get away with your life and get to the spot where you want to check it from. You do not want to force a gunfight if you don't have to. Of course you will not always get the best case scenario. Sometimes you're going to have to take a gunfight obviously but if you can plant the bomb and get away with your life and get to one of these positions this is going to be a more common spot is watching it from the opposite side of the map on the same level that the bomb is planted on. I do believe, however, if you can get the bomb down and get away with your life up to this top positioning right here, they will hardly ever, ever think to look up here. They will probably be hunting around the bomb site on the bottom floor on either side looking for you. If you can get the bomb down and get to this positioning, I think it is a 99% chance that you win the round. Obviously, you cannot do this every round or people will start to look for you here, but if you do it every now and then, I do not think people will expect this spot at all. Even if they do start to shoot at you, you just go prone behind the cover, play time, check the bomb every 8 seconds or so, guaranteed win. Now I'm going to show you how to improve upon the bad example I showed you earlier of how to plant bomb. And we're going to plant on the same side, but this time we're going to do what is called stretching the bomb. Where when you're too far from the bomb, obviously you can't plant it, and so you inch your way forward until right when that indicator pops up. So you plant it as far away from the bomb as possible. Doing something so simple as stretching the bomb can help you win so many more of your 1v1 or 1v2 situations. This really opens up your availability of where you can watch the bomb from. As you can tell with how I stretched the bomb this time, you can watch it much more easily with a normal gun as long as you're accurate with it. Probably like an M4 or one of the burst guns, you can easily check it from where I was just at. I would honestly probably play it from this position back here, that way you will not get shot in the back. You can watch your entire flank. And I honestly would just count every 8 seconds and check bomb from here. Because even though this is much better than playing the bomb in just any random spot, I would have to assume that when they run down to the bomb area and don't see you anywhere downstairs, they're going to run up one of these ramps and be looking for you. And I just don't know if people will take that extra step to run all the way around this container to check that corner. And even if they do run all the way back here and look in that spot, hopefully you've wasted enough time and you've gotten them that much farther away from the bomb where they do not have enough time to run back and defuse it within seven and a half seconds. Now this bomb site is much more cut and dry. Most people are gonna plant the bomb and sit one of these corners upstairs with it. You can't go downstairs without having to expose yourself too much coming up the stairs to check the bomb. Checking it from one of these windows is going to be the only way to take the extra step to check bomb without being in the same room as it. You can plan on both sides obviously depending on which side you stretch it for. Personally sometimes I'll sit in this corner and check bomb every eight seconds or so. This way you know they're not going to come from behind you and shoot you in the back. You can take the gunfight and hopefully win it or just waste time by checking the bomb every few seconds from this spot. Now B was much more difficult and I did not find any better spots than the one I just previously showed you. So we are going to go back to the A bomb site. I do apologize for jumping around a little bit, but I figured I'd give you an example of planning on the opposite side this time. I do not prefer it as much because this is as far back as you can go because of this blocking you. And you're much more exposed in this area because you can't just simply walk into the container. You can come back to this corner and do something similar to sitting behind the container on the other side, but... I think it's just too much running to go all the way around it and keep checking it from that side and you just do not have near as much cover. So now I'm going to show you the A bomb side again where honestly I don't think you even have to stretch it to the left or right as long as you stretch it straight down the middle. I believe you can run over here and go to either the top left or the top right side and watch it. 
obviously this area right here is going to be where most people will assume you're going to be watching bomb from if you're not on the other side with bomb obviously i think this is going to be the most advantageous spot to watch bomb from being this far away from bomb the odds of you getting gunned from this far are just so slim especially if you just know how to play your life and just duck behind cover or go prone right here because like i said the goal is to not force a gunfight if you don't have to I think this side is easier to watch with a sniper from this distance. Obviously, if you have a decent AR though, it's still very easy to watch bomb from here. Do not force the gunfight, play your life, waste the time, and just keep checking bomb and annoying the hell out of whoever is trying to defuse it because do not give them the chance to get the defuse off, keep peeking it, back down, play your life if you need to. Now this one is very similar to the other one, I figured I'd just go ahead and show you guys. But truthfully, this one is just not very practical. If you stretch it all the way on the far corner of this bomb, you can run all the way back to spawn. And this one, of course, you have to have a sniper for this one. With how they made the bomb in this game, it's honestly really hard for me to even see right here with a sniper to see exactly where a bomb is. Which, granted, it doesn't really matter because when someone tries to hop on it and defuse it, you will clearly see them. But honestly, I would only watch the bomb from this position if you're just trying to mess around and have a good time. Because you're honestly way better off just playing 50 feet in front of you and using the metal lip of the boat as cover for your advantage. When you're up here, you're just way too exposed. There's too many angles to get shot from. Granted, it'll be really hard to kill you if they're playing around the actual bomb site, but it's just a risk I wouldn't take. Now this one is going to be probably sniper required bomb placement also. You might could do it with a really accurate AR, maybe like one of the burst rifles, but I feel like it would be really difficult, and if you don't get the kill, you're just going to ruin it. So if you have a sniper, if you aim right for in between those two lids right there, whatever you, the hatches of the submarine, hardly anyone, I think, will ever check the water. When you go underneath the water anyways, it makes it really difficult to see you. So you can just go underwater, play time, pop up every now and then, check bomb. I didn't have anyone else in the custom game with me to help me test it, but you might even be able to watch them cross two bomb from underwater. So you can literally just peek up and catch your breath and go back underwater and play time. This is one where I really think you can catch people off guard with it. I do believe that people are going to catch on to watching the bomb from top mid like I showed you earlier. Granted, those are still going to be really hard situations to lose if you get to that positioning as long as you know how to play your cover and play your life. Obviously, just like some of these other bomb planting spots I've showed you, you can plan it for both sides and watch it from this angle also. Just be ready to have your sniper out and do not miss your shot. And that's it for bomb spots part one. I really wish I had more to work with when it comes to the B bomb site, but when it comes down to it, it's very contained into a small building and most people are just going to sit in a corner next to bomb. But if you are not strategically planning in a specific spot, I really encourage you to start doing so and to give some of these a try. Now I just need you guys to let me know what you think. I'm currently planning on covering every map if these videos do good, but I need you guys to let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment of what you thought of the video, and I will see y'all next time.